Hey, hello, hi. Go down to the comments and let me know which type of Minecraft village is your favorite. This will help me know which types of seeds to feature in my next video. Oh, and while you're at it, subscribe to the channel so you know when I upload next. Today, I have 20 village seeds for Minecraft 1.19 on Java Edition. We'll see seeds varying from a typical plains village to a shipwreck village. Please keep in mind that the terrain will be the same, but villages and structures are in different places on Bedrock Edition. All right, let's get started. I want to start off with a seed that has a ton right at spawn. Obviously, given the theme of this video, we get a village here. It generates within a mesa biome, which causes some crazy things to happen. The villager in this building is completely stuck inside. And look at this building down here. The door is blocked off and the back of the building is enclosed by the mesa too. And there's a blacksmith in this village too. I found a ton of obsidian in the chest. There's also a ruined portal in the middle of the village. This is the loot I found inside of the chest here. I mean, this is just such an awesome seed. This seed here is just a plains village. I'll have at least one seed with each village type throughout this video. This is obviously the one for plains. You can see that a lot of the terrain around the village is actually pretty flat. That could be good for building. But we also get some hilly terrain around the area too. There is a dripstone cave underneath the village too. You can easily access the cave by going through this cave opening here. Now let's show one more village variant with a savanna village. I like this spawn area a lot. The village generates right next to a massive ravine. A bit of a village farm even generates towards the bottom of the ravine. Pretty cool seed. Now let's check out this abandoned zombie village. It generates in a nice big plains biome. The village is pretty small. Despite its size though, it's still quite special. Villages have just a 2% chance of generating as an abandoned village. This building here is a tannery with some bread to give you some food to start your adventure in this world. Let's check one more village variant off with a snowy village. The village has a combination of wood buildings, ice buildings, and snow ice buildings. To the south of the village is some ice spikes, and to the northwest is some more ice spikes. This building here is a blacksmith. I found some pretty great loot inside. At seed 15, I want to share a desert temple village. This village certainly isn't the biggest, but it's pretty cool. Look how this part generates within here. This just looks really awesome. Such a cool way for it to generate. And then we get that temple generating here too. In the first temple chest, I found a gold apple and a god apple. And some iron in the second chest. And this here in the third chest. And another golden apple in the final chest. East of spawn, there is a ruined portal. I can dig around here and find a chest with some loot too. This seed is a bit interesting. The spawn is in this little plains biome that is completely surrounded by a swamp biome. There is definitely some way this can be utilized. Not sure how, but I'm sure some sort of build idea comes from somebody more creative than me. The village here is just a small plains village. Nothing too crazy about it, honestly. Directly underneath spawn, we can find a massive dripstone cave. There's even a mine shaft here. This place looks incredible. But yeah, just thought this little plain surrounded by a swamp was kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and get our final village variant out of the way by showing this taiga village. It's a standard looking taiga village in the middle of a nice sized taiga biome. Within the village, we get this church building here. And for those that don't know, the building with these grindstones indicates a blacksmith building. This is the loot I found inside. Let's stay with the Taiga variant for this seed here. There is this top section of the village here, and then this section down here in the ocean. I love when villages stretch into water like this. There's also a ruined portal here. Kinda cool how it cuts into the Taiga. Here's the loot I found in the chest here. Here we have a pretty cool oceanside village. We've got a plains biome at spawn. On one side of the plains, we get the ocean, and on the other side, there's a forest. The village has a nice collection of buildings. That includes a blacksmith building, of which I found this loot inside. 
getting into the final 10 seeds, we've got a mansion village seed. We can see this building here generates right on the edge of the mansion. Some of the village generates out in the ocean. We've got this church in the village, and there's this blacksmith too, which of course has some loot inside. And there's another blacksmith here, with this loot inside. The mansion generates cutting into a big roof forest hill. That's actually where we'll find the entrance. On the bottom floor, I found this mossy cobblestone, which I don't know if it's a glitch or if it always generates like this for the seed. There's also this room with loot at the end, and there's this maze room which also has some loot at the end. On the middle floor, there are two arena rooms, which both have loot within them. And on the top floor, there are two more arena rooms, of course, both with loot in them. I'd say this is a pretty incredible seed. Next up, we've got a double snowy village seed. We've got this spawn village and another village just west of it. This spawn village is mixed right in with an ice bikes biome. I really like seeing the ice bikes surrounding the village buildings. The other village is within a frozen ocean and on the edge of a taiga biome. This floating building is pretty interesting. And there's a blacksmith building with this loot inside. So yeah, a double village seed. Okay, so we have another desert temple village here. But this one, as you can see, is quite different. At spawn, we get the village, the temple, and the windswept terrain. There's also a small mangrove swamp right nearby too. The village itself is just a standard desert village, though it generates amongst the windswept terrain and with some massive sections of windswept terrain around it. The temple generates down here and it's partly buried. This is the loot I found in the temple. Pretty cool seed. I really like mangrove swamp biomes. One thought I've had about them though is what they look like with a structure. This village gives at least a little perspective on that. Plus, I just like seeing villages that go into biomes they're not supposed to be in. The village actually has four tannery buildings. One has an emerald and leather pants, one has emeralds, one has leather boots, and the last one has a full set of leather armor. In this next seed, we have an abandoned savanna village. It actually generates really high up, as it's partly in a stony peaks biome. Overall, it's really not the biggest of villages, but I really wanted to show this seed because of the cliffs. I mean, this just looks incredible, especially this area here. Just a cool seed. Getting into the final five seeds here, we have one of my personal favorite seeds in this video. We already saw two desert temple villages, but this desert temple actually generates within a plains village. Definitely a bit more unique, I'd say. Parts of the village path are in the temple. I found two gold apples inside of the temple in addition to a lot more. This village also has not just this one blacksmith building, but a second blacksmith building too. Here is the loot I found inside of the first one, and here is the loot I found in the second one. This is such a cool seed. Next up, we've got a seed with a village on a meadow. Inside of the village, we've got this church. We've also got this tannery, which comes with some loot. And we've got this blacksmith, which also has some loot. But check this out over here. We've got another blacksmith that generates down here. Of course, with more loot inside too. Also down here, we can see that there's a dripstone cave section here. And then if we continue over here, there's another cave. And down here is a lush cave and mine shaft. This massive cave just looks absolutely awesome. Some cool Minecraft world generation for sure. I also just want to show this little section of terrain near the village here. I just think it looks pretty awesome and it leads to a dripstone cave. With the water here, I just like the entire cave area. And finally, underneath the village, there is an ancient city. Ancient cities are obviously one of the more exciting things added in Minecraft 1.19. So I mean, of course I had to feature this seed. I really like this seed. Getting into the final three seeds here, we have a jungle temple village seed. The terrain around the spawn in this seed is actually really awesome. We've got this beautiful looking mountain over here, then we've got this area here, and this cave area here. This is a pretty decent sized village overall. I like the look of this two story building. And then we've got this building right next to the temple. 
Just such cool structure generation. Inside of the temple, we can see some of the village past. And we can break behind here and find a chest with loot. And we can find another chest back here too. Now we have a shipwreck village seed. The shipwreck is made out of dark oak and jungle wood. It looks like it was built right into the village. Here's the loot in the top chest, and here's what's in the second chest. Over here, we've got a blacksmith building, which comes with some loot. And over here is another blacksmith, again with some loot. A nice little seed here. Finally, to finish off this seed, well, let me just say, this seed is pretty crazy. Firstly, we spawn in this plains village, and the village stretches up the side of a beautiful looking mountain range. Sincerely, just such a cool village in itself. Then we have the mansion, but before that, check this out. Yeah, a little ruined portal generates right on the edge of the mansion. Here's the loot I found inside. Part of the mountains generate on top of the mansion. That includes the entrance cutting into the mountains. On the bottom floor of the mansion, I found a maze room with loot at the end of it. On the middle floor, there are two arena rooms, which of course both have loot. And on the top floor, there are seven rooms. That includes this hidden room here, which if you break into the top, you can find one chest with loot and another chest with loot. So with the village, the mansion, the ruined portal, and the terrain, this seed is just absolutely amazing. Well, there you have 20 village seeds that are working for Minecraft 1.19 Java Edition. Be sure to check out my blog for all of the coordinates and information about the seeds in this video. If you want to help me out, leave a like on this video. For more Minecraft videos, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Alright guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out of here. See ya.